All right, guys, welcome to today's lesson in statics. Today we're covering number 129 from chapter 3. So problem 129 says, Four signs are mounted on a frame spanning a highway, and the magnitudes of the horizontal wind forces acting on the signs are as shown. Determine the magnitudes in the point application of the resultant of the four wind forces when A equals 1 foot and B equals 12 feet. So looking at the diagram, we have 105 pounds at point F, 160 pounds at point G, 50 pounds at point F, H, and 90 pounds of being applied at point E. I would notice the way this diagram is drawn that the forces are acting into the page along the negative Z direction. And the X axis is pointing into the page as well, which is different than what we're normally accustomed to with our axis, the orientation of the axis. So I've drawn a little diagram to make note of that. Remember, positive X is pointing into the page. All right, so let's go ahead and solve for the magnitude resultant. It's simply going to be the sum of all the forces. So we have 90, it's negative in the k hat direction, minus 105 in the k hat direction, minus 160 in the k hat, well, negative z direction, and then minus 50 as well in the negative k direction. So now, if we were to determine the resultant, we would simply combine these forces and we would get negative 90, bring our calculator up in the frame, okay, we have negative 90 minus 105 minus 160 minus 50. That gives a negative resultant equal to negative 405 in the k hat direction. If we were to find the magnitude of this vector, it would simply be the positive value of positive 405 in the k hat direction, pounds of force. So we have our resultant already given. We already have our magnitude of resultant. It's already been determined. So now to determine the position of the resultant of being applied in the x direction and its y coordinate, we're going to find the sum of the moments about the y axis and some of about the x axis. And that will be equal to the resultant's magnitude multiplied by its position in the x direction. And similarly, it's some moment about the y axis, or the x axis, I should say, is equal to its magnitude times its y position, its y coordinate. So let's go ahead and sum moments about the y axis. Looking vertically, notice this y axis is vertical. A moment about it, all the forces are being applied on the right side which will create a counterclockwise moment resultant. So there will be a positive moment about the y-axis due to the forces all being in the, on the right side of this z-axis. So let's go ahead and sum our forces. We have 90 pounds multiplied by its position B, which is a total of 12 feet, plus, these will all be positive moments, as I said before, 105 multiplied by 5.5 plus 160 pounds. It's being applied at a distance of 9 plus 5.5, which would be 14.5 feet. And finally, at point H, we have a 50-pound force being applied, and it's being applied at a distance of 8 feet further, so it would be 22.5 feet. So this will tell us what are some of our moments equal to? We have some moment about the y. Okay, so we're going to go to our calculator again. And we will say 90 times 12 plus 105 times 5.5 plus 160 times 14.5 plus 50 multiplied by 22.5. Oh, didn't pick up that last two. Let's go back and fix that real quickly. 22.5. So this gives us some of the y-axis is going to equal to 5102.5, and that's equal to, call magnitude over R, our resultant, times its X 
value is x coordinate. So r we know is 405. We can divide both sides by 405, and we'll get our x position as being equal to appears to be a number such as 12.6 feet. And we know the forces are all acting to the right and on the positive x-axis, so 12.6 feet to the right of the pole AB, or right of the origin. Okay. Now we're going to look at some of the moments in the x direction. So some of the moments in the x, but the x-axis. Notice we have one force above the x-axis, a distance of A, and we have three forces below. So viewing this from the positive x direction, looking at it down the positive x-axis, this force would be a negative value. The E force at E is creating a clockwise moment. And the force, three forces, on the other hand, below the x-axis are creating counterclockwise or positive moment. So we're going to have to make a negative value for the force at E. So looking at the x direction, we have a force of negative 90 pounds multiplied by its position from the x-axis, which is a distance of A, which would hold simply one foot. And then the rest of the moments will all be positive. They are creating counterclockwise moments viewed from the positive x-axis. So we have positive 105 multiplied by 5 feet plus 160 multiply by its position, which looks to be three feet right here. And then finally, H is another 2.5 feet down, so it would be plus the 50 pound force at H, multiplied by 5.5 feet. And this is equal to, let's determine this with the calculator. So we have negative 90 times one, we know it would be negative 90, plus 105 times five, plus 160 times 3, plus 50 multiplied by 5.5, which gives us a moment of 1190. We know this is equal to our R resultant multiplied by its Y coordinate. We know this is 405. We can divide both sides by 405. And we'll get our y value by this answer by 405. We get a y value equal to 2.94 feet, feet and feet. And because the majority of the forces are really calculated out, the, yes, the majority of the forces are below the pole BC, the horizontal axis along x, the force resultant will be applied at 2.94 feet below BC, below the x-axis. So we have our coordinate for the resultant. We would have it at 12.6 comma 2.94. This would be a negative. It's below the axis. And our resultant for our magnitude is 405 pounds of force. So here is our answer for number 129. Alright guys, thanks for joining me in another Simple STEM Solution video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Also, if you'd like to support this channel or have particular questions you want answered, be sure to check out my Patreon community via the link in the description below.